Nice day today. Eh? Oh, just gorgeous. Oh, so nice to have the sun changes everything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, being indoors on the computer is not quite what we want to be doing in the summertime. Uh, uh, you know what? Um, uh, uh, one of the great hacks is um, just setting up your cell phone to tether and bring your computer outside. Go to a park bench. Just tether your internet from your phone. That's what I do. I can never see the screen. No, there's a little thing that you can get for your laptop. It's just a little piece of plastic that goes on top of your screen that blocks the sun. You can see your screen. Oh, really? Okay. And there's a really good portable battery pack that's out right now that you can just keep it charged for hours as well okay. outside. And just, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm like, man, I don't get good sun in my place at all. Actually, no sun. So I'm like, I'm always trying to figure out where I can go and sit outside and just do a couple, even, even an hour or two, even if I'm working and I'm outside, it just changes everything. Well, I'm doing, I got some prototypes on the go. So I'm like, I'm at the, I'm getting to the end of my, I did about a good three, four months spurred on the computer and yeah, I, I just want to paint, you know, I, and I just, I, I don't really want to deal with people anymore, which is, I guess, not the best thing considering what we're ramping up. But. Uh -huh. So tomorrow, three to five. Yeah, tomorrow, three to five. <laughs> what um hey so those are uh those two what was it naco and michael fronte yeah i don't know if either of them are going to come at this point <laughs> it's a little late notice for those guys well i told you know nathan messaged me back and said bye, bye sharon said naco can't make it i doubt that michael will i just think the the you know they're really high caliber artists and the this has had like very little promotion and da 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 and stuff out there as of now because it's been in a very formulaic state so I don't also know that the best time to pull them in to be honest either. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's nice if they're kind of that close to it in terms of I, I think it just changes the ball game when you got a, a number of. of uh, artists at that level who are willing to participate and they are and i think there's going to be the our right moment everything is about the right moment what's the right moment for what where when and how um and what i'm tracking right now is that this moment in new earth manifesto is not a moment to pull everybody in for everything this is a moment for some of our core team it feels like um i i i've been feeling it and i'm like you know I have, I'm sitting on a lot of work and a lot of theses that I've been creating for years and that I don't broadcast because I don't give myself space because I'm always featuring and having conversations with others. Um, and I feel like the same way for you. I mean, you could go on for a long time and be given some real space to be like, hey, this is the inflow matrix. This is the system. This is why we need to organize it. This is why we need to use it this way. This is why we need to create. And if we don't do that at the base to start, then we're always trying to go like build up crescendo, crescendo, crescendo. And people are like, wait, where's the start? Like, what is the foundation of this? And I feel like if we want to start, let's start at the start. Okay, good idea. Yeah. I love, you know, you let Lucien talk about up game. Give him 30 minutes. Talk about his inspiration, his pedigree, where he comes from, why. Why this is necessary for the manifesto. How? Let Maya talk. She's doing the collaborative journey and the regenerative manifesto. And she's working with the regenerative movement and she's biosphere, right? Great, let her talk about why and what she's, you know, what she's learning and you know, why that needs to be a manifesto. And then it's like, okay, at the close, you know, Satyan said he may come on. Great, we'll bring in someone like Satyan to just hammer it home. <laughs> like, you know? um, Sounds good, because I think also, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right in terms of if we're holding down the core foundation and each of us has a piece, it makes sense for us to give the piece. And it doesn't really matter how many people are watching. These are all recorded, so mm -hmm. it's living history, right? So. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we need to go back and be like, you know what, we, we got off to a bit of a false start, right? Where we get hit a crescendo and a da, 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 and like, I don't know, I've been feeling a lot of anxiety in my body around tomorrow. And when I, when I kind of dialed back and I was like, no, we'll do two hours and we're going to start at the start, my whole body eased. Like I felt the ease and relaxation, the pressure drop off and the just dropped. And I'm like, oh, that's my body signaling me very clearly. Um, well, if you have play at synergy in terms of, I think the beam values are still operating, right? 
Mm -hmm. So if you have play and synergy and you're not playing, that your feelings are your feedback system for your value system now, right? Totally. Nicely, nicely said. Wait, let's write that down. Your feelings? Can I write this down? That's a really good one. When you have a conscious value system, nice. your feelings become your feedback system. So when you're out of integrity, you know it. If, 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 nice. if you're not playing, you know it. You know, if um, you're not being bold, you know it. So, um, and I think those values have been operating on all of us very strongly. I agree. Whether we, whether we acknowledge or know it, they have been, just as those shared knowledge community values have been operating on the humans in here. Yeah. Strongly. Very strongly. So maybe what we can do a lot is we can interview each other. Like nobody knows how to interview me as well as you will. Hmm. Like nobody knows how to help draw out the pieces that I've been working on better than you. Nobody. Okay. okay. Um, and I'd love you to just be there and be like, okay, so Ryan, like, what are you, you know, why this manifesto? Um, all right, talk about this nexus infrastructure, you know, um, talk about, okay, great. You laid the foundation for what shared knowledge community is. Where do we build this and where do we go? Or, you know, uh, you know start, start pinging me on some of those core topics so I can give my thesis. And Tell me I'll about your say, plan, remind me. Exactly. Tell me about your plan. <laughs> and I'll be like, Elijah, tell me about your plan. <laughs> so, Ramayan, tell me about how the shared knowledge community is more important than the Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. As we, we both interview the other and just give the digs within it. <laughs> so tell me, why do you always lose people while you're trying to implement your plan? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So your last video is really impressive. It got three views. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about your current marketing strategy. Exactly. How you're implementing this great idea of yours. <laughs> How many people do you have on board in 25 years? Oh, yeah. none. Okay. Well, that's, that's. <laughs> How many high, people do I have in my plan? High conversion rates. <laughs> They're all fools. Well, it actually, speaks, I keep saying, it kind of speaks more to what you're saying. The sense of, you know what role we're playing, where, when, and how, you know, well, so, are, we, are we playing to our sweet spot or not? So, <laughs> so we got the new birth manifesto and we're all just interviewing each other. <laughs> Join our manifesto. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't think we're asking people to join in right now. Uh, I think we're more being like, listen, this is, a, this is the state of where we are now. So, you know, that map, old paradigm, new paradigm. What is the lever point? Let's start there. What is the lever point? We're talking about this old structure of fear and this new structure of love. What needs to happen? And what needs to happen at an inner individual level? What needs to happen at a company level? What needs to happen at a group level? What needs to happen at a societal level? And one thing we've recognized and acknowledged is that unless we make those changes simultaneously, multidimensionally, then it doesn't occur. And everybody's trying to make a change at one part of that wheel and they're not really coordinating or communicate with the other parts of the wheel. And that's part of why we don't have any true collaborative systemic unified architecture right now. We don't, we don't have a shared narrative um, because that shared narrative also comes from the shared reference point to that center of that wheel, the inner individual. And so what Osho says, all the great teachers have said. So unless we have a system or a framework that's able to draw across those wheels simultaneously, and unless we have a manifesto which uses that framework to actually show implementable solutions, then we're not going to get there. So, i.e., the aim of the New Earth Manifesto. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'll be silent the whole time, but every once in a while, I'll just put one of those across. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just do some sort of like Sesame Street stuff. Where you... Exactly. Elijah, what convo type what convo type are we in right now? We're in uh, out to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the combo killers. Exactly. <laughs> just share a screen on the combo killers. Just throw them at the screen. I think it would be fun to have uh, as someone speaking, you press a button and this combo killer comes right beside their head, you know. <laughs> oh, we definitely need that. That's part of the software system. Oh. Oh we can have so much fun. It's so much fun. Because <laughs> if you're on the design side and you're on the, I only have this button and you guys don't. Click, click, click. <laughs> Set up a UN 
a UN meeting, you've got the software, everyone's in, and all of a sudden you take it over, interrupt, you bring in your people, you replace the person's head with somebody else's head. Well, you can do that with OBS now, actually. We don't even need, like, I can actually do that right now with OBS. Really? Yeah. I can, yeah, I, can set up a, I can set up a frame. That frame can say whatever it wants, and your manifesto, beautiful frame. On the set side can have little circles for combo type that we're in, and I can just click transition and drag and drop the combo type and literally transition it in live conversation now. Really? Yeah. In, in OBS, the broadcasting system? Yeah. Actually, I have that system. Oh. Yeah. So it's all possible now. Cool, cool, cool. So... Do you have it mapped out in terms of the structure for, I like the hair, by the way. Um, no, that's part of what I wanted to talk to you about, is to help maybe make a two-hour map. Okay. Do the thing. Okie dokie. Oh. I like that we're working together again, though, man. Feels good. I don't think we do that well when we're not. We may think we are, but... I know, it's true. We definitely need each other. And it's true. Well, I think I told you at some point that, I mean, once, once you're actually using the inflow, the highest use of the inflow is with other people using the inflow, right? It doesn't work that well with people who aren't using it, right? Mm -hmm. like, well, let's go to the Synergy map and then we'll drop down this into a combo killer. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a reference. Yeah. It is. It's ideas and positioning things in your mind so you don't have to memorize all these conceptual things and you actually have it. Well, this is also why I'm really still excited to go and do the inflow breakdown and continue our work that we've been doing. Um, because I think once we get that core programming layer down, then we'll all be able to use the inflow in a different way where I'm not so stuck to the way you've languished on maps and then you're not trying to force me to adhere to the way you've languished on maps all the time. And that's usually where we fight. We don't fight on the inflow. We fight on necessarily just the way we're organizing information based on languaging and you have a certain way and I have a certain way. And that's okay. Like, cause you have projects that you're gonna run and then should be languaged exactly how you need to be languaged, right? But that doesn't mean that the inflow is not still running the OS or running the, you know, and I've seen that now. I'm like, oh, that's where we kind of have clashed. I'm just going to bring up the, the uh, I'm just going to get a glass of water while you do that. Okay, so you're gonna, you want me to make you host? Ah, uh, sure. You wanna join us? Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Nice to walk in nature. Well, that's perfectly understandable on a day like this. I'll just sit here and do all the work. Don't you worry, you guys. You just enjoy your lives. <laughs> yeah. I was on that Synergy Mastermind and we were going through all of our sort of talents and this this team is packed, man. And, uh, they're it's, it's like a, a great core team to sort of start to build a shared knowledge community. Each person is like sort of a superhero in whatever they do. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you with the LACL Foundation, right? We've had a second meeting, went very well. And it looks like they're continuing we want to uh, continue the process. That's awesome, I'm stoked to hear that. Boom, bada boom, boom. Oh man, they've only given me, they only give me three free boards. So I've got to delete one. Oh, I know. It's such a pain in the ass. I think it stopped me. I just, I wanted to create a whole bunch and I could just do one. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna delete it, Kimmy's, because there's nothing on it.
you know, I think this is also in terms of for us to organize things. I think when we both agree to things, like I said right before, that when we both have buy-in, then it'll go forward. If one of us doesn't feel included or feel like they participated in the design, then we don't sort of get the full energies of both of our positions. Sorry, say that again. I apologize. Well, just that when both you and I does agree on the design of whatever it is, then we've got full buy-in, right? And neither of us is sort of using energetic blockers because we don't feel included in the design. But I think when we're we both have agreement, yeah, I agree. Then so, I think we can go full forward because both are looking at it from quite a different perspective. Both need to be taken into account, and others. But right now. They don't really have the background and the inflow to really get it. No. Um, there's a board that you have here um, saying the inflow matrix, and there's really nothing on it. Are you going to create on that board? Yeah, there's nine. I got nine circles. There's nothing? I started um, putting yeah, the time there. Yeah, there's some circles on there. Okay. Um, <laughs> it just made the our master view only. So you're in that one? I'm trying to look at which ones I can delete, and I can't delete any ones that are not made by me. It's so stupid. Why don't we just bring up the one, and, and we can just uh, yeah, let's just, let's just mark it up. Um, okay, can you just send me that PDF, please? Why, why don't just make me host, and I'll pop it up. Yeah, you'll pop it up. Can you draw on the PDF? No. Okay, so you want the PDF? Yeah, just so I can uh, I can just actually draw on it. You realize this is what true leadership is, eh? It's doing the work when no one else wants to do the work. So true, right? Yeah, thanks for showing up for it, man. Appreciate it. I mean, it's funny because it's always the people that want to be involved, but they're not, let's say, at the core. It always keeps going back to the core, the core, the core, the core, the, core, the actual person doing the work. Yeah, I see that more and more and more and more. And, uh, you know, that's part of the journey. And also at the same time, it's like finding the scalability of a model. And that's something I do want to talk to you about later is, you know, when we, now that we're going to be using the inflow as the base and we together will like identify the first ring of the setup for the manifesto and where we want those groups, maybe it's LaCiel that also comes, helps in with the manifesto. Maybe that's something that's part of it. Maybe their groups of 20 can actually help actionize part of the manifesto. Maybe that's where we connect. Like, I want to love to have a brainstorm with you. We're like, okay, great. We know we want to get thought leaders of these topics, asking these questions, knowledge harvesting and distilling in this way. And this is how it's going to flow through the knowledge architecture of the inflow uh, and then end up on this live wiki. Uh, maybe that's when we can give marching orders and instructions and let others do the work. You know, without a structure, like you're always saying, without an information structure, we can't let others do the work. We haven't even built the structure yet. So it'll always come back. It'll always come back to me <laughs> yeah. until that's done. Yeah, and I think last year they just have such a strong spiritual foundation. They're they're pure. They're very pure at heart. Yeah, so I think they will probably align with the core charter that we're putting forth. Right, and like this is our thesis, and this is round one. You know, we yes, we want to come together around projects and actionize, but uh, step one is how do we create collective consensus and agreement around what those projects are. And they, like, they had quite the process to find 12 spiritual elders. So, you know, that type of wisdom, you know, I, I think is hugely necessary. And they were kind of went through their process to find the people that are there. So then they had these other 144 people there. So again, it's, I think all over, like, are these groups that are all just waiting to sort of get restructuralized, whether, whether they know it or not. 100%. Everybody, I can feel that people are like waiting just to be activated there. And yet, because they're not, they're all like, oh, this is fragmentation across a lot of groups. And so a lot of the work is determining what is that pipe, what does that pipeline look like? You know, um, what does it actually look like? <laughs> Turn off my background for a second here. Easy. I'm gonna go to the whiteboard for a second here. Oh, put it back. And so 
I feel like there needs to be like a, yeah, there needs to be consensus. Agreements. Around the core. I feel like once there's consensus and agreement around that core thesis, then we need to like funnel that into a pipeline of kind of what is our um, put the next thing into eight. If you um just to help you sort that. Yeah, put it into eight. Yeah, have the, the core agreements is in the center point of nine. Then at the next level it goes into eight. That's why for you. Whenever you're doing most of your stuff, yeah, always organize it into the eights and the 38 specials. Because for you personally in the marketing and present moment, it covers all the bases. Okay. And that's what like Lucien was doing with the up game. And I think that, you know, he's got the right, he's got, he's got the right idea. The process may, may not be finalized in terms of the methodology. But he's definitely got the right idea, and then he breaks it down into eight pillars. So, I was more thinking like, according to your map, the seven map here, which is like the start, right? Without like a core, a core agreement charter and a thesis. What is our thesis? Our, our thesis, or, or you know, as some call it today, our theory of change. The thesis and the theory of change provides the contextual context for the start. I mean, this is where we're starting, right? Um, once we have that thesis, it feels like the build up is creating the structure. You gotta know. You gotta have setup next, right? Then build up. That's what I meant. Sorry, the setup. So the setup creating the structure. So great, we've got our thesis. What is the information flow and structure? And this is where uh, having the info. Oh, Lucian's calling. Want to bring him in? Yeah, hey brother, I'm on a Zoom with Elijah right now. Do you want to come in? Hello. Hey brother. Hey brother, how's it going? Good, I'm on a Zoom with Elijah. We're just mapping out tomorrow if you want to come in. Sure. sure. Yeah, okay, well, uh, Elijah, can you get in the link? Uh, yeah. On Facebook? We'll just messenger you the link, all right? Oh, all right. All right, bye. Um, if you don't mind sending it to Maya as well, just let her know that we're in. If she can come in, great. If she can't, then whatever. But just okay. so she can be concluded. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so the setup. After, like, the next phase, like, we're working on the inflow. The next phase is, let's build the structure. Without the structure, we're going to fail. So let's not waste any more time and build do all the knowledge experts and put them all in and just, like, throwing them into an empty fucking hole filled bucket. I've been doing that my whole life. Um, so uh, part two of this is creating the structure. What parts of the inflow need to be built? What part of the software need to be built? What part of its spreadsheet? And this is where the eight app kind of comes in, you know, in a way where it's uh, infotech, where the people, the categorization systems, you tell me, what else is creating the structure? Um, well, it's kind of like it's, it's like mapping systems as they are, uh, then defining the new structure, which would be, would be the inflow, and then the transition structures in between. It's like to take people from where, you know, everyone's coming from somewhere. Yeah. And not to take that into account that isn't really that right. Yeah, you're right. And so then, then the transition structures could be something like the up game, right? Yeah. Where they go through a process that starts to begin the transformation in a sense. I mean, it's taking the pupae to butterflies, right? In a sense, in a conscious way. Yeah. But, and the structure is, I think also the information structure well, and the infotech, I think probably the, the most important thing is getting everyone on a shared infotech. And I think perhaps that, again, like I told you that, uh, 
the project management system that Prashad has. Yeah, um, let's take a look at that as well. The, the, the chat frenzy I'm working on, what you've done with Beam, and I think New Map, those four together are gonna cover a lot of the basis um, for getting people on a shared infotech system. Yeah, so I think we need to do a needs analysis for the infotech in order to arrive at that. Because it seems to write the info matrix as a language structure that can work with any of these info techs at some point, hopefully. And then that language structure is what needs to go into everyone's minds as the reference point for the holistic system. Mm -hmm. So it's like matching the offline file folders with the online file folders with the business system architecture with our minds mm -hmm. and having the same language reference point around all those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that I'm going to put that down as inflow training for now. So basically, this between the start and the setup, it's really an enrollment process as well. Sorry, to what? It's an enrollment process. Victor, right? Victor, and that's between all these seven stages, right? There's a transition between them. Yeah, I see that. that. That are their own right in a sense, because sometimes you can't get to the setup because you didn't go through that transition. Yeah. So there's essentially 13 steps, but. Yeah. So I think we, this is really all we need for now, because I mean, we can get to the build up, the crescendo, but I think just knowing what the start to the setup is, is really where we're going right now. So um, I think that's enough to give us context for this, at least this time map here. Uh, is Lucien coming in? I invited. Let's see. Well, that that map, the time map that I made, right? There was the basic thing of how to <coughs> integrate with the up game. I mean, that's that's essentially the structure of the the plan. Definitely. <laughs> hey guys. Hey brother. How we doing? Oh, no. You're on Great man. How are you? Good. Yeah. Very good. All going well. How are you, Elijah? Well, I'm pleased as plum. Pleased as plum. Good. Good. Good to hear. Got a little allergy. Allergy uh, hitting me right now. So I'm a little discombobulated and sniffy, but apart from that, I'm great. Well, we check this. What's going on here? We have uh, a whole sound setup happening. Nice. We're, we're going to have like... I don't know, at least 20 musicians <laughs> do, our, do our ceremony uh, for UN at 75 in Alamo. <laughs> so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this as well. I'm going to make you all uh, admins for this event. I'm going to make you co-hosts, both of you. Um, so, so, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to go, wait, I'm going to go upstairs. Um, Man, is that a control? That's a, that's a, uh, there's some gonging happening down here. Um, so, so just to, con just to, um, sync on that from 3 to 5 p.m. Yeah. And how is that affecting the schedule? Basically, I've changed, I, I've, nope. changed, I've changed things around quite a bit. All right. Yeah. Uh, basically, what I come to see is that we've, it's too easy to just pull in and try to throw people together in a room. And I just feel like um, I, I'm starting to see a pattern here and I want to break that pattern. Okay. And the pattern that I'm seeing is that like, we're here, if you look at Elijah's map here, and I'm right there, at, there's the start, the setup, the build up, the crescendo, the ease out, the connect and unify, and then close and remove back in a circle, right? I feel like right now we're at the start. Yeah. There's a, there's a temptation to want to hit the crescendo and hit the crescendo and hit the crescendo. But like without starting, I think at a really strong foundational place knowing exactly where we're moving and going, um, I feel like uh, we'll bring a lot of energy in and then it'll leak out the bottom of the container. I don't want to do that. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and so what we've decided to do is a couple of things. One, Many Elijah have been mapping the manifesto arc. What actually, what is the arc of creation? What are we, what are we going to do? So for example, we looked at the start. The start is the core agreements, the charter and our thesis. What is our core thesis that we're saying that we're going to do, right? If 
by doing X, we're going to be doing X, and by doing X, we're going to do X, and then by X, this is happening. That's a thesis, right? And with that thesis comes either agreement and clarity around that thesis or not. And those that are stoked and enrolled in that thesis are going to come on board, and those that are not are not. So I, I, I've been doing the last while in that documentation that you're seeing, the action items that are looking at, the arc of the manifesto, that's all the thesis, the charter, right? So I think there needs to be some presentation of that tomorrow. And then when we move from the start towards the setup, what is the setup? The setup is creating the structure. So there's an information flow and the way to set up the info flow so that as information comes in, it's being harnessed and presented in the right way. So that setup could be a website, it could be a project management, it could be a wiki, it could be an info system, all the stuff we're talking about. And we're doing the up game, the harvesting of that knowledge in specific ways that become tangible, that create, you know, then go to a video team that then create short form video memes out of it, which then broadcast on 100 pages that does this and this and this. We set that up, right? We set that up and we set it up to win with the allies who are already enrolled in that core thesis, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, once we have that, and that set up, man, we go right to build up, right? Because now we can channel energy, channel people, channel resources through that funnel, and we know it's not going to break. And we know that it's going to be moving through a process that has enrollment in a core team around. Um, so rather than bringing everybody into a room and being like, what are your biggest problems and what are you solving? That's great. I more want to highlight some of the core members of this team. I'd like to take at least 30 minutes to give that download. I'd like to give Elijah 30 minutes to at least to talk about the inflow matrix and what's, why the, we need a new information system to go to the paradigm. I'd love to give you 30 minutes, Lucia, to talk about Upgame, talk about what mm. you're doing, talk about Unified Planet, talk about your inspiration, talk about your pedigree, talk about why, talk about your thesis, right? Give Maya that time. She's got a lot of work behind her thesis. We're the core nucleus. And if we're not starting with us and the work we're doing and the thesis that we're carrying and why we're actually even coming together, how can we move forward to build up? Mm, mm. Okay, so you're so okay. That's clear. So we'll, we, this is just basically the kickoff of the quest where we're setting the context, and exactly. um, and it's going to be so it'll be live streamed on Unify, and it's on basically going to be on every Liberty Week main stage. Okay, and it's um, and it's going to be two hours, thirty yeah. minutes each. Yeah. And I, I think what, we should just uh, put a Kemi in there too, just to. She may not come. That's her thing. She's like, I don't know if I can come and be on the broadcast right now. She's going through her own internal stuff. So if she decides that she's like a yes, of course, we'll bring her in. So anything we can do to support that? Maybe reach out to her. Maybe it's not only me reaching out to her because it always is. Okay. Okay. What, what, um, my, I, I was trying to get to the root of where, cause it's happened now, um, twice on, yeah. um, on this, where, like, where's the root of that issue, just so that we can support and like know the context? Oh, the root of the issue is that I feel she's coming to a deep level and embodiment of her own voice, and that she's also given so much work by unifying other organizations, and she has this habit of taking on a lot of administrative work, and then work overworking herself, and then actually not feeling like she's really in her sweet crystallized spot, like so many of us are, right? Yeah. But she's like, she's one of the most brilliant people I've ever met in my life, just to be clear. Yeah. And yeah. her ability to synthesize information knowledge, her ability to chart the map and the blueprint, her precision and her languaging around these things are, are amazing. But there must be some mechanism in there that's blocking her from making that shift into that, that clear transmission of it. Uh, because when we're together and we're mapping, she's 130% there. Like I wouldn't be yeah. here without that work. And so I've been doing my work to try to support that coming out. Um, but maybe that's a collective effort. Yeah, yeah, it's just good to know because I, 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 I want to, you know, I want to support her having her voice heard. So it's just and and feeling feeling like feeling in, you know, she's raised it raised it twice and it with quite a lot of emotion and um, just yeah, just keen to know how to support because it it was hard to know the background context for it. When both you times know, I, it was raised. I feel like if, you know, there's a reach out to her, just even with that, what you just said, I think that just starts to dissolve whatever the wall is because I think there's also this collective feminine kind of mm. energy of using your voice and speaking out when there's powerful masculines in the room and there's, 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 all, there's all of that as well. Mm. Um, so just even the offer of space, even the offer of recognition, I think is part of the healing of it. Okay. So to be clear, because I 
got, I hadn't, it, it just, just a bit of feedback. It would be really good to have got this information yesterday if we're, or whenever, as soon as you know it, because I've reached out to a whole bunch of people like, asking them to participate. All right. um, and I just don't, I don't like kind of like doing work and then undoing it, you know, because it's, there's so many things on, but, um, but, but uh, it's fine. Have you had any confirmations yet? I, yeah. I, I also have, I've reached out to a whole bunch of people yesterday. And asked them to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay. I can, I, I think the most important thing is that we do what we want to do. You know, I said, I had reached out with the, let me confirm details. Are you available? Um, more than more than like you're going to be speaking at this slot to this slot, so I can just update. I, I could just go back and say, "Hey, we decided to just do do the launch context, and we'll we'll do a we'll do it. We'd love to do a, a an interview." Yeah, you know, may, maybe the way we do this is we do like podcast kind of interviews for the unanimous quest. Um, I think could be like a um, where where we have a set of questions and like may, may, maybe each of us goes and commits to a certain number of like podcast interviews where we sent the synthesis in yeah. kind of that would be a good way of engaging people yeah in this um, and then we can continue to do um, you know uh, structured engagement with it mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, so I would love if, if you could put the unified planet on the invite, that would be helpful. Well, that's why I, I just send both of you co-hosts. Please feel free to edit the event. Please feel, oh, just, feel free. Just, just, just on the invite, uh, the image that you had. Oh yeah. That image. Um, I just changed it. Um, so it doesn't have anything yeah, on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Just so it's easier. I, I think it's just good to have it in the event itself rather than trying to continue to update the image. It's too much work for me. So I took everyone off. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm just going to put it in the event description itself. So um, uh, if, if there's anything you want to feature about Unified Planet or anything you want to add to this event description, both of you feel free to do it. If you want to write a paragraph around the Ample Matrix, um, if you want to write bios, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm going to handing it over to the group here to feel free to edit that description how they see fit. Okay, so, um, and the live broadcast, is it possible, what, what um, where are we hosting this? Is this on a Zoom? Yeah, it's on the main World Unity Week Zoom. So their, their Zoom link? Yes. Got, got it. So can we use that Zoom link to continue on to a closing ceremony or is, have they got other events? Uh, they have other events, but I, we can... If I wanted to, I could stream this through OBS and use another Zoom room for that, and it wouldn't change the broadcast at all. Um, I'm That's just fun. thinking the... Um, why don't I just set up a different link for our event, just so that it can be... I'll, I'll set up a different Zoom link. We Just keep keep this regular Zoom link, and I'll share the other Zoom webinar link with Ben and just say, hey, we're going to be doing a UN San Francisco um, kind of uh, UN at 75 um, and, and it's going to start from 6 p.m. Because I think realistically we said three to five, but it's probably going to go a bit longer, right? No. No? No, I mean, I mean, we, it, we, they're on a pretty strict schedule, right? Because they're, they have everybody coming in at different times. So if we say three to five, we've got to be three to five with this one. Okay. So then, um, and do we want people like Dak, Dakshi? We're, we're not going to invite Dakshi no. into this. Yeah. No, we need to, okay. man. I mean, Dakshi, he has a lot of space and he's had a lot of space to say a lot of things. He's like holding a lot. So yeah, love him. I feel like it's time for the people in this group to give their thesis. Okay. Okay. This is, this is, this is perfect. This like is a lot more easeful. Um, it doesn't feel like it. And I don't know. I just feel like there's this energy always to be like, everybody come in. And, and, and I, I do want everybody in, but like exactly like you're saying, Lucien, like each one of us is going to participate in the podcast broadcast. Each one of us is going to go out. And once we've got this set up, here are the core questions, information flow. Here's the broadcast podcast. Here's how we're doing it. You know, we're just going to create a real good structure. 
to allow for this thing to bring the energy we know is waiting at the wings where no people are chomping at the bit to participate in this, which is great. It feels good. You know, I had a really good meeting with the earth charter today, Lucien. Good, good, yeah. good. I was on a broadcast with everybody, all of the earth charter team and it went oh, fantastic. Cool. And Rachel kind of made the bridge between New Earth Manifesto and the Earth Charter. And that went down really well. Their whole team emailed me today, um, being interested in w wanting to participate more. And so um, all of this stuff is going to come in when we go unlaunch with the, with the structure that's going to be created here. Um, that's, that's, that's fantastic. I'm just seeing if I can... Oh, that's the edit location. Hold on. I'm just trying to see... Can I add um, Unified Planet as a co-host? Uh, uh, you should be able to. Yeah, you're a co-host now. You just go to edit the event, and then you can add co-host. Got it. Yeah. I'm going to add Unity Week as well. Oh, that's already add. Okay, save. Hey, cool. how, how about this? Because um, like the, the opening and the end can be the start and the finish, right? And then we have uh, Maya, then me, then Ramaya, and then Akemi, then Lucian. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, why don't we keep the order we set yesterday so so that i follow you elijah because we're talking about the game and then we go we go ram maya ram maya elijah myself and then akemi or was it what were, we we had a schedule already right yeah, it was, we did. It was. So Ram, Ram, Maya, me. Ram, Ram, Akemi, Elijah, Lucian, then Maya. Yeah, I think Maya should end. I think that's yeah. right. I think me and Akemi should, you know, because we're both larger context setting. Elijah is then yeah. structure. How this actually? Uh, okay, so like, Ram, Ak Akemi, Elijah, Lucian, Lucian, and Maya, and Maya. So I'll be on. Let's say if you if you and Akemi do thirty minutes at the beginning, or do you, should we break it like twenty minutes each? Uh, depends. Depends if she's actually going to come on board. Okay. Um, I just we'll sent her a message that I think hopefully we'll get through to her. Great. Okay, so if if cool. if, if, if if we pencil, roughly speaking, it's either going to be twenty minutes or thirty minutes each. Ram, yep. you're going to do from three to three thirty. Potentially with Akemi, it might be to 340 if Akemi joins. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, together. then Elijah would do 330 to 4. Yeah. I would do 4 to 430, and Maya would do 430 to 5. Yeah. Or maybe she'll Elijah. do 430. Maybe I'll just give her 20 minutes so we can do a 10 minute together close. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Maybe, maybe why don't we do um, 20 minutes each? Um, and then 10 minutes spaciousness between for us all to jam together on what good. was Let's said. Let's do 20 minutes each. That feels so, better because I, I want some spaciousness here. We need yeah. breathing space. We need laughing space. We, and at the end, we need the, the connect and unify and finish, right? So there's going to yeah. be a, you know, the start, right? And then the setup, which is going to be, a, you know, hey, welcome everybody, da 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 set up and what we're going to do before we go in, right? Um, so we got to make sure we have time for the start set up and then connect unify finish, which should be at least 10 minutes on either side. Um, so it looks like Ram, you're doing the start. Akemi's doing the setup. Yeah. Or, or actually the start is the start. Ram, you're doing the setup. Akemi's doing the build up. I'm doing the crescendo. Lucian's doing the ease out. Maya's doing the connect and unify and then the finish. Why? Well, I'm not really doing the ease out. I don't. I don't feel that like what we're each speaking about um, is going to be is, is Ram welcome conversation context building, Akemi consciousness to systemic change, Elijah design specs maps how systems how the systems operating, 
uh, myself creating an infinite game um, thesis on how to actionize and then Maya finishing with collective journey and the great reset to the, to the great B. Mm. Yeah, is what no, we had for an agenda. Like I'm not saying you're easing out or have to do anything to do it. It's just kind of like the format of the, of the pulse. Yeah, it's just a pulse. It's just a pulse Essentially, I'll be setting time. you up. I mean, the person yeah. before the person should be setting up the person. Exactly, 100%. Yeah. Like, I'm going to set yeah. you up hard, Elijah. I'm going to be like, and without this, without this information in the structure system, all of this goes to fucking nowhere. Guess what? We've all been doing that. And Elijah's going to set up his inflow and be like, you know what? This whole thing can only be actionized in the structure of a game. <laughs> you know, like cue Lucian, right? And then Lucian like sets up the game, but it's like, you know, without our collective journey, then da da da, cue up Maya, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, the great reset to the great B. I, like I'll, I'll, I'll cue up Maya for Earth shot in game B, basically. Exactly, that's what you, you know Maya, you know what she's yeah. working on, cue her up. Yeah, perfect. So um, and this is good. This okay. feels good. This about, is like, if you think about this is a show like Elijah always talks about, this is the start of the show in a way. Yeah. Right. What about, what about Nako and Franti? Did you, did you hear anything? Yeah. Franti is like, uh, Nako can't do it because he's got a family thing this weekend. Franti is like, you haven't given me much time, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like what, you know? Um, so he's like, get back to me in the next 12 hours and I'll see if I can do something. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I mean, if, 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 if uh, I'm, I'm going to email him back right now, actually, you know, what? I got to jump off this call right now because I had, I had a two o'clock that I'm late to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I think this is, this is clear. So I'll, I'll know, I'll know to speak, uh, for like 20 minutes yeah. and plus jam with the rest yeah. at like, um, four, four o'clock. Yeah, um, perfect. and, um, then I think we're all set for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then, um, I will do an invite and put you as a co-host for, Great tomorrow evening and if unify could share that like closing ceremony do we know what the world unity week agenda is uh tomorrow like tomorrow evening i don't know you gotta check in with ben or look at their website nothing's on their website i actually don't know where you find that stuff that, that me neither i, I actually like, don't i said that that part has been a, a mystery to me to be honest i have no idea of what they're doing the only thing i would say to you to, to both right now is on the event page Share a little bit about yourselves. Put a little, I'm going to post my bio uh, and some of the work I do. Lucy, and post a little bit about you and post a little bit about the up game. Elijah, post a little bit about you. I would say post a little bit about the Inflow Matrix in the event page. Um, and I'll just ask Maya to do the same. So there's just some context into the work um, and some reference point. Okay, perfect. Um, Elijah, I already made you co-host of the event as well. Sure. We're not in the Trello board for tomorrow yet. What's the Trello board? The Trello board is where the schedule for the Unity stage is. I mean, I talked to Ben and he confirmed with me today. Okay. Oh, New Earth Manifesto is six to eight. Sorry, it's, it's that's, Eastern. That, that, that's uh, EST. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay, then there's a Fidel Monero, M M Marino. Castro is back. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I guess I, I'm really, I'm late for this meeting. I do have to jump. I have the team waiting for me. Okay, cool. You go. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Elijah. Take care. Okay. See you guys.